guys, I got another video for you, and my wife actually thought of this, and she nailed it on the head. If you are using zip grow towers, and you see how the water's just uh, inside, it comes out of the tube and comes down, you know, and you can see it spraying in right there. Uh, I had this, and I was getting a lot of clogs. I reused a lot of these little... Uh, quarter inch tubing here, eighth inch tubing, I forgot what it is, which one it is. Well, I just had some and I just left the lengths and they were long, so they were coming down, up and down. So they were longer. Well, that little extra length that went down in here made settlement stick in here and it clogged it. Whereas every other day I was blowing out every one of these. So my wife says, well, it's probably too long, just cut it so it's just long enough. So it should have been common sense in me doing that. So I cut it just long enough where it just sticks in here, just so in case it doesn't fly out and go all over. And that that's it. I really, maybe two, I still check the sprayers every day, but maybe two of them every three to four days get clogged. That's it. So this is highly recommended. It's something that should have been basic for me to understand that uh, that was it. So my wife gets all the credit for this. So if you're using the zip grow towers or something like this, do not have any bends or anything that needs. Just make sure it's a straight little run. So just, just a little advice on zip grow towers. Have a great day.